I uh, hope everybody's having a great uh, long weekend today. And I've got a quick little update with the signals. I kind of got these two in sync. I also moved these two paired now, but not wired. And I say kind of in sync because uh, they both have two different um, controllers, but they're both made by Gallic Electronics. Uh, and this signal right here, this Econolite, that one has an older one, I think from 2014, while this one right here's got one from 2020. So uh, eventually they'll get out of sync. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the controller. Here's the Econolite controller, or it's a Gallic Electronics controller inside of uh, an Econolite short group signal. And this signal here has the older, the older uh, controller here. This one has all the e LEDs in it. And uh, yeah, here's the Econolite bubble back. This one has a red uh, GE LED, yellow is incandescent, and the green has a dial light module. But here it is. This one's a new controller from 2020. Here's all the wiring I had to do to get this one functioning. And yeah. Also an update on this bullseye signal, if anybody was curious. We got to flash red now with this little flasher we got with the Econolite short groove. From LA and the place we got it and uh, so we got an extension cord running over there to where we got uh, power now and also there's been some changes in the backyard there's no more hole right here as you guys seen in the last video and there's some plans coming up in the next video I will be going over some new signals that are, we have uh, coming they are two more Econolite signals. These are both the McCain style Econolites. These are coming from Ohio. And uh, I'll give you guys, uh, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on with those. So I have some news. Like I said in the last clip, I have two Econolite signals coming. They are the McCain style Econolites. One is a yellow, just uh, yellow, uh, doghouse with the uh, dial light LEDs in it and then uh, they have the older dial lights and then the, the other one is a uh, one from what I heard is from Easton Ohio uh, a town that has uh, everything blue in it from what I've heard and it's it's yellow on the front and blue in the back which is gonna be interesting for you guys to see and uh, that one has newer LEDs newer dial light LEDs in it and uh, yeah, I'll be going through those signals and showing you guys the insides and all that stuff. I'll probably be cleaning them and restoring them, getting them to function and all that fun stuff. And I'll keep you guys updated on what happens with those signals when they get. Sorry about any background noise, but uh, I don't think I've ever shown this on YouTube. So this McCain here, as you guys already know, had uh, incandescent lights in it. But I... I've had these this set of LEDs for a while, or it's not a set, I've got them all individually, one at a time. This one I got, this was the first arrow I got, it was a GE arrow my grandpa got from a maintainer nearby, as well as later he got me that red dial light LED from another maintainer. And then this yellow light I got um, from eBay, or actually for Christmas last year. Uh, it was given to me by my dad because he always knew I wanted the last arrow to complete my set of three arrows so every once in a while I will change out these arrows for the incandescent lights and um, vice versa and uh, yeah I don't think I've ever shown this to you guys And finally, I would like to say thanks for watching, and I hope everybody has a good three-day weekend, or has been having one as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video when I uh, go into an in-depth look at my two signals.